<clears throat> What's up, Everyday Blades? Man. Okay, so we got a knife here that has drawn a lot of opinions. Uh, today I'm going to give you mine. The Benchmade Narrows. And it definitely earns its name because this is one thin knife. And spoiler alert, it's a good one. It's an expensive one, but it's a good one. So, to standard... It's a Benchmade 748 Narrows, standard Benchmade box, blue class. Um, I think that's what gets a lot of people is the blue class costing as much as this cost. It's up in the Paisan range and, you know, those kind of knives. But it's a different, innovative, you know, they do a lot of R&D to get this knife that thin with the new Axis style lock. Works awesome. But anyway, to soften the blow, if you purchase from blade hq you get a free civivi something or another oh here we go uh scintilla s-c-i-n-t-i-l-l-a -L -L -A. scintilla uh, shows value 64 dollars um d2 blade um I'd rather have the $64 off of the price tag, but you take what you can get. Uh, it's not from Benchmade, that's a Blade HQ discount, right? So, on to the knife. Uh, the name of the knife is Narrows. Uh, the other videos you've watched, the guys tell you it's narrow. The pictures you've seen, um, you've seen that it's narrow. You can't understand it until you get it in your hand. How how crazy thin this knife is. I don't think I have a knife in my my 70 some odd knives that's even closest. 33 percent thinner than the bug out. So for first example, we'll look at the Slim Midi, the Medford Slim Midi. <clears throat> you see how much thinner it is than a a knife called the Slim Midi. Uh, <clears throat> a lot of people call Medford bricks. This knife has a thinner blade stock than most other production knives. Thinner than the PM2. I uh, love that knife. Anyway, back to the Benchmade Narrows. Um, M390 blade steel. Uh, I strongly feel that that should have been magnet cut. I think they could have put a lot of this chatter to sleep by using magna cut because all the other new knives being released here's the newest american blade works magna cut um their other knife tech the, the tactile came out with the last couple of knives they come out with uh magna cut everybody's using magna cut and there's a reason magna cut is totally awesome it's, it's an unbeatable steel right now. It's the king of the crop as far as what steels I know about. And I don't know everything, but I know it's a great steel. Um, the new axis lock, look at the grips on it, how it sticks out. It, you can grab it really well with one finger from one side. The action is phenomenal. I mean, this is, this is an ultra fidgety knife. It, it's got a good sound to it, a good thwack. It's just a lot of fun. Um, these, all the hardware is PVD coated. So in theory, this coating should stay on everything. PVD is a very strong coating. But I can see a little spaces around the screw where the blue is either light or gone. And it's actually like purple on the inside. I don't know if you guys can see inside that one, but it's like purple inside that screw. I don't know what's going on. But anyway, it's not a deal breaker for me. Uh, but a 500 and the realistic price, what you're going to pay is 522. It's like 586 retail or whatever, but everybody charges 522. Um, just super thin. Now, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that this is the ultimate EDC knife and it, it'll cut through watermelon better than every other knife. No, 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 no. That's, you, you're missing what this knife's about. This is an enthusiast knife. This is for guys who are knife guys who buy, you know, several knives. They're not going to make thousands and thousands of these because there's only so much of us that are going to buy these 
$522 knife. The knife is just cool. It's an enthusiast. The cool factor is off the charts. The, I forget what the weight is, but it's insane for a knife this size. Two point four ounces, and that—that's a good size knife. This knife is about the size of a PM2. Let me grab my token size knife. There it is. The Benchmade grip. So you can see the the grip's a little bit. It's a whole lot thicker but they're about the same length and about the same width where the difference comes in is that i mean look at that comparison that's insane this knife is crazy thin and i don't think anybody would consider the griptilian a fat knife by any means but this thing is credit card thin i can't i can't overstate that enough so let's check a couple of dimensions Three and three sixteenths. Four and a half. Centering is dead on. Perfect. It's just a great knob. It's not a great value. It's not designed to be. The Paisan is not a great value. The Spyderco Paisan. It's just a cool knife. Uh, it's not necessary to have a knife this thin, but it is cool. It's not only milled out on the exterior, it's milled out on the interior as well. Let's see if you can get a shot of that. See if the light will catch it. So, yeah, the, even the standoffs are, are blue PVD coated. Uh, it's got a deep carry pocket clip. Blade stock is super thin, as you would imagine. And it is a slicer. It came super sharp. <clears throat> it's super thin, so it slices through everything. I've been carrying it for several days. And I'll tell you what, I've grown to really like it. I mean, the, the, the knife collector in me loves this thing. The practical, I need a knife every day to cut stuff guy is like, yeah, right, $522. No, no thank you. <clears throat> but I'm a knife collector. I'm a knife enthusiast. I love it. And, and if you think that knife looks cool, and appeals to you you'll really like it if you can stomach the price i'm not going to sit here and justify the price i didn't i didn't make the price but that's what you got to pay to get it will it be cheaper on the secondary maybe it depends on how many they made it might get more expensive on the secondary if they only made 400 of them it's a big gamble to make too many of these at 522 dollars because you might be stuck with a bunch of inventory but anywho any hoozy that is the Benchmade Narrows. Uh, gets two thumbs up for me for an enthusiast. Uh, gets no thumbs up for value. Uh, and that's that's pretty much what it comes down to. You can ask one guy and he'll tell you, greatest knife, man, love it, thing's so freaking cool. You can turn around and ask the next guy, freaking rip-off artist, that Benchmade's getting out of control, blah, blah. You don't have to buy it. You can, you can go on move. That's why there's hundreds and hundreds of knife companies out there. There's some amazing budget knives out there that you can get for really good prices that are similar to this they're never going to be this but you know you can get this profile you know titanium m390 you know it's it's you're not getting a whole lot more the the diminishing returns once you get past a certain amount of money get very small but this is a cool knife for an enthusiast so guys thanks for watching please uh, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed doesn't cost you anything helps me out a ton uh, throw me a like uh, if you like the video god bless you and your families say a prayer for our country good night